We're finally ready to talk about sound. So sound, as we know, we can have something like a guitar string. Uh, and so the string can be stretched, right? It'll have um, some length L. It will, we can have some linear density, which is the mass over the length. And this tells us that um, that the speed of the wave is the square root of the tension over the mass density. So these are all things that we saw in the last unit. Uh, and notice that we also said now that if we, so if we tighten the string, if we make this tighter, then we're increasing the tension. And if we increase the tension, that means that we also increase the wave speed. But we also said that the frequency is the wave speed um, over the wavelength. And we said that on a string like this, that there's going to be uh, you know, a lot of different frequencies that are allowed. Um, but if we look at like the fundamental frequency, the lowest frequency, that's just the speed over 2L. L is fixed, so it means if we're tightening the string, it means that the frequencies, the frequency you know, that we have available, especially the fundamental frequency, is going to increase. So we're increasing all of the frequencies of our spring of our string um, by tightening it. And of course, loosening it, it's going to make it lower. Uh, anyone that plays guitar or violin or any other stringed instrument already knows this. Um, but this is how we can see it physically. Of course, we don't actually hear sound from a, from a string. We hear sound from the air, right? And in air, the speed of sound is about 343 meters per second. Okay? Um, and remember, this is frequency times wavelength. So if we pluck a string at some frequency f, okay? So we'll say f string. It turns out that the frequency of the string is equal to the frequency of the sound in air. But because the velocity, the speed um, that a sound wave propagates in air is different, this tells us that the wavelength is going to be different in air than it is uh, on the string. So the frequency is the same, um, but the wavelength is different. Okay, and so it's so it's this propagation of sound in air, which is what we actually hear in our ears.